Patients diagnosed with breast cancer routinely require some type of lymph node sampling. Lymph node sampling provides prognostic information to tailor adjuvant treatment, i.e. chemotherapy, or further axillary surgery. Axillary lymph node dissection itself does not affect the patient's overall survival. It used to be that if patients with breast cancer involving lymph nodes, they would require chemotherapy and an axillary lymph node dissection. With newer data, we are finding that in patients with metastatic disease to the lymph nodes, adding chemotherapy and or axillary dissection does not improve overall survival, nor does it decrease local recurrence rates. For select patients with early stage estrogen positive breast cancers, we can send an oncotype which looks at the genetic sequence of the cancer and predict whether or not the cancer is chemosensitive. If the results show a low recurrence score, then the cancer is unlikely to recur and the addition of chemotherapy is not indicated. Thus, the patient could be recommended only hormone blocking treatment. The oncotype has also been studied in patients with low nodal disease burden and are prognostic of outcome. In terms of axillary management, the Z11 study showed that in patients with cancers less than five centimeters and hormone positive, patients with one to two positive lymph nodes can have omission of axillary lymph node dissection and it is replaced with axillary radiation. The study shows that there was no statistical significant difference in overall survival or local recurrence rates between axillary lymph node dissection or axillary radiation. The benefit of axillary radiation is that the morbidity associated with it is much lower compared to an axillary lymph node dissection. No. What we have found is that in patients greater than 70 years old with small breast cancers, we can safely omit lymph node sampling in these patients. In 2013, a retrospective review of the CALGB 9343 patient population found that patients who were greater than 70 years old, having cancer less than 2 centimeters and hormone positive, and plan on taking endocrine treatment, 63% of those patients did not get axillary surgery. There were no difference in overall survival compared to patients who did have axillary surgery. The local recurrence rate was higher by 3% compared to those getting axillary dissection. Using this information, the Choosing Wisely campaign recommends that it is safe to omit axillary surgery in patients greater than 70 years old with an early stage hormone positive breast cancer.